So what I usually do is I usually outline and see how the image is going to go. So I start with the outline of how I think this character is going to be. So I'm going to just outline. Just it looks like I'm not doing anything, but it's just I'm just trying to get the general shape of this character. And now this phase isn't perfect and it's not supposed to be perfect, but you know, I'm just trying to gather the way this character is shaped here. So, you know, and you might make a mistake here and there, and that's okay, that's totally fine. This is just the initial phase here. So, I drew a little bit close to the side, but that's okay. I'm gonna give an ear up here. Here's some hair. Uh, let me bring this down just a bit so you guys can see. Um, let's see. Here. 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 You know, I'm just outlining what I see right now. And the more you do this, the more practice you'll have. And the easier this will be. So there's a little outline there. Here. Just want to make sure the ears line up here. You know, I'm just doing a very, very basic outline of what I see. So this kind of makes it so I don't draw anything out of proportion. This is so I, everything is within, within proportion, you know, and I might just fill in a bit. The picture doesn't really have anything out here. So I'm just going to go to here, you know, and then body shape is like here. Okay, so I can see this area doesn't look great, so I'm just gonna fix it a bit. So I'll, you know, maybe I'll make it down to here. So now, and then maybe make this over here. So now it looks a little bit more proportion because I see like his waist or his jacket or whatever he's wearing is just too, um, too big. You know, it's not supposed to be like that. It's just a little bit too big. So that looks a little bit better. Now I have like a base outline. So I'm gonna start filling in some of the details here like this, you know, like that and then i'm going to focus here on his hands so i see that one hand is up like this and uh, if you want a tutorial on how to draw hands i did a tutorial i might do another one just to make it a little bit better but um what i would do is i would just do your hand out like they're doing and then i would just draw it you know what i'm saying so just get your hand out in the same similar position and start drawing it that way and again if you mess up on thickness or you mess up on you know how it's supposed to be that's totally fine um, this is a little bit more complicated of a hand because, you know, it's like hand signs and hand seals. And those tend to be a little bit more complicated, but that's okay. We just gotta just figure it out based off of how our hands would be. Okay, a little bit more complicated than I would have liked. Here's the thumb. Um, I don't really like that finger. It's a little bit big, but let's... Let's just do it. And I usually do the finger in like three parts. One, two, three, because there's usually three joints with the hand and the finger. And you see there's his index finger. This is his um, middle finger. And then this one should be his ring finger. I don't like how it looks, so I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna edit it a bit. Just be careful to keep it in proportion, meaning like, you know, it's really easy to uh, mess up the proportion size and make hands too big or too small. Uh, there's his thumb with the nail on it. And um, that's that's really easy to uh, to mess up, you know. Um, that can always. Okay, so let's keep it moving. I'll just fix this right here, um, like this. It's a little bit complicated, but it's not that big of a deal. As you can see, it's a little bit tough to draw some of the hands and the hand signs and everything. Um, yeah, I'm like kind of happy with that. Just keep playing around with it until you're actually happy with what you have. Like there's no, there's no sense in just being unhappy with what you have, you know? Just keep it going until you're happy with what you got. And then just, you know, keep it moving like that. Okay, that one looks a little bit better actually. That looks a little bit better. And I'm just gonna make my hand like that just to see how it, how, like the shape of the hand is in comparison so so but i gotta kind of look at it from like here you know like i gotta 
turn my hand because the hand's kind of like this. So I just turn, look at it, and then I, I can make a sketch based off of that. And so I can actually see how everything lines up. Okay, now that one looks, that looks a little bit better and that looks a little bit more natural. Okay, now I understand how the hand is. Okay, so again, same thing. All right, so now I got a, I got a decent hand. Now I have to do the other hand, which is also a little bit complicated. So I'm gonna draw it on over this hand, just keeping in mind that this is here. So I'm gonna be drawing it just a little bit off. Like here's this finger right here. And there's actually, I think there's like two fingers right here for Naruto. Um, and then here's his, uh, like the dorsal side or like the back of the hand. And then here's uh, his hand. And then here's some of his fingers kind of overlapping into this. Again, it's a little bit complicated, but you just gotta, you know, to for complicated hands, I would just look at your hands and then I would just draw it out based off of what you see. And uh, that's usually the best way to, to do it. You know, and it's, it's, it's a little bit complicated, but it's okay. You just gotta play with it. And honestly, this is something that comes with practice. And the more you practice, the better you're gonna be at it. So I would just keep practicing. Obviously, I'm not perfect, and I'm not saying I'm perfect, nor am I ever saying I'm the best artist around. Um, but I am saying that I just wanna get better. And that's what this channel's all about, trying to get better at art. So if you want to, while I'm doing this, if you can just hit that subscribe button, that would be awesome. Awesome, 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 because that would really make my day. And I can bring you these videos which is awesome. So this finger is a little bit big. If you see it in comparison to this finger, it's just a little bit big. So I'm just going to shorten it just a bit. Um, and I guess you can't really see, this is actually technically supposed to be his middle finger, really. And then the other, the index finger is actually kind of hidden. Can't really see it. Um, so I just got to make that abundantly clear that you can see that. Um, and I don't see a thumb on here. I guess it's hidden. Um, this is okay. It's not, it's not the best, uh, hand but again keep playing around with it until you're happy with it and again it doesn't have to be perfect you know um, I understand everyone's busy they have some stuff to do so it's not like you're gonna have you might not have infinite time to finish stuff like I know I'm a little bit busy um, so I don't usually have a lot of time but I really enjoy art it's really relaxing for me and uh, it's just very calming and I just wanted to do something where I actually talk to you guys and it's a little bit relaxing like that instead of like playing music over it or whatever, you know, and I can at least talk and kind of like tuck you through the process. Okay, now I want to do the hair. Um, I'm going to just draw a little bit of a hairline here. And then uh, I'm going to draw the headband. I always like drawing the headband here. So the headband is like, you know, um, and keep in mind like where the tops of the ears are and where like the headband usually is. And just put it in proportion like that. It looks like it's like a big headband flowing here and there's some hair here that we missed and just here and here and it's kind of like that now i'm not saying this is going to be perfect of course uh drawings like these usually take like a few hours to to to, to finish and i'm just trying to finish it quick just because i also want to show you some like other details like uh, coloring and those other stuff and um it's it's really hard for me to film and uh, be able to draw at the same time. It's a little nerve-wracking because I'm trying to think about what I'm saying and everything, but you know, I I just want to do my best that I possibly can do and just uh, You know go go from there. Um, I just didn't like how the hair is turning out So I'm fixing it. You can always fix things. That's the thing with the pencil stage You can just pencil and fix fix whatever you need to fix, you know If you don't like something fix it if you like something you can leave it as is and there's going to be times where you draw stuff and you're just not going to like how it turns out. Just drawing the ear here. And then you got to just, you got to just keep fixing stuff, you know. And that's okay. That's totally fine. Um, a lot of people will tell you just ink lighter first, um, which is probably the case. But I am so bad at that. I always just end up going full throttle. And that's not, that's not good. Like you want to ink, you want to, sorry, excuse me. You don't want to ink. You want to um, pencil lightly. So in case you make some errors. It's easier for you to fix. So I'm going to do that. There's the hidden leaf symbol. Village hidden in the leaves. And, um, you know, I'm going to just draw these little bolts that are on there. And that's about it. Um, 
yeah, oh, it looks like there's a little bit of room at the bottom here. See that? So I'll just do that with that. Okay, so now a little bit trickier is what I have trouble with is drawing the bottom of the face. I usually have a little bit of trouble with this, like the lower half of faces. So I'm just going to try to make sure I'm not going crazy with that. Because I, I tend to have some, some difficulty doing this. I don't know why, but lower faces give me next level anxiety. Um, because I just, I just for some reason, don't know why but i guess i'm used to drawing like dragon ball z characters and in dragon ball z they have very sharp um like very sharp chins and uh very sharp um faces so when i draw stuff like this i have to just remind myself that i'm not drawing something so sharp and it's a little bit like less you know less crazy and again you might have to fix some proportions like that ear is no longer in proportion because it's too big fix it you know you just got to keep fixing stuff that's really what it is in drawing it's just constantly fixing what you're what you're doing and see i mean his, his headband's a little bit off but um you know now it looks like it's turned a little bit more to the side and um i mean that's uh it kind of looks like how the drawing is so that's okay um next i'm just gonna start with the mouth because i just kind of kind of like kind of want to start with that just go based off what you feel like if you're feeling like drawing the mouth or if you're feeling like drawing the um, eyes, whatever you want. Let's head up to the nose here. And I'm just going to keep in mind where everything is proportionally. You want to make sure you don't uh, forget that. And then his eyes are kind of like a, like a circle. Like I'm drawing kind of like an oval here. And then down and then kind of like whoop, like that. And, you know, I might have messed this up, but let's see. Let's After I put in the eyeball, I can usually tell if it's messed up or not. It doesn't look exactly like it, so I'm just going to I'm gonna redo that redo that eye. And it's fine. You're going to encounter problems, and it's okay. Totally fine to encounter some problems along the way. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Um, and, you know, things will turn out the way your style is, and unless you're trying for exactly how the image is, which I still have trouble with um, going forward. So let me just kind of try this eye one more time. Kind of hook here, down here, like this. And just keep going until it looks like it's supposed to look. There's the pupil and then there's the light reflection. Okay, a little bit better. And then I'm gonna make a, another eyebrow here. And again, I'm just kind of looking at the image and following it, you know? I know people use guidelines and they do that. And if that works for you, do it, you know? Do what works for you. If you like the guidelines, do the guidelines. Um, but for me personally, guidelines have just never worked for me. And it's just, it's not because I'm such an amazing artist, because obviously clearly I'm not as I'm struggling here. Um, but it's, it's, it's also, it's basically because it's just not how I used to draw. You know, when I was young, I just draw like what I saw and that's how I learned, you know, I never, um, I never had the opportunity to use like books or anything or, you know, or, uh, guidelines. I never had that opportunity. So, you know, this is the way I learned and this is me showing you guys how to, how to do that. Um, you know, to start in the eyes a little bit. So if you just want to, you just got to start with the shape. And then, like I said, we're going to come here to the to the eyes um, and the mouth and the face. Now we got that. Now I'm just going to draw a little area for the chin. And here's the upper pectoral muscles right here. And he has this kind of like this, like, I don't know exactly what to call it, but this interesting sequence on his, um, his collar right here. So I'm going to just try to emulate that that sequence with the collar. Um, and you know, when you draw more stuff, you become better at it. Like, so for example, if you have drawn something like, uh, fluffy or feathery before, or like, you might see this in like Victorian times, like, uh, this type of like fluff, um, it becomes easier to draw, um, more stuff like that. So the more practice you have drawing different things, the better it'll actually become, you know, um, and the more practice you have drawing like different shapes, the better that'll become. So really, it's just about drawing multiple times. And 
I agree to a to a degree with drawing things that you you know you see in different places and you know practicing but I just could never get into it because it was just so boring you know like it just it was just extremely boring and at the end of the day I wanted to draw what I wanted to draw I didn't want to draw like apples or you know plants or whatever and you couldn't learn a lot from it don't get me wrong it's like studying it's interesting it's good I'm not going to knock it because I'm sure it makes you an extremely good artist but just for some reason, I've, it's just been so boring for me to do that. And I just don't want to do it. And if you're an artist, you might know that, or if you are a starting artist, or if you've been doing art for a long time, it just kind of, you kind of do what you want to do. It's very, art is very mood based. So I always like to keep my mood up, especially since I have to do so many pieces, because I try to upload shorts daily, by the way. You want to check me out there on shorts? Yeah, daily. So, you know, um, this arm is just absolutely insane. What am I doing? So it looks like his arm should be coming here like this. And then I kind of messed up a bit because this is where his like chest area should be. Um, and again, now this is too big. So I'm, you know, I'm actively fixing stuff because I'm, I'm making mistakes in proportion. So I'm fixing my proportions and I'm having that realization right now that that's something that I do um, a lot is I have to, I end up mess messing up the image and then I have to have to fix the proportions, you know? Um, so that's always a, a pain. So you see, like, a zipper is just basically, like, you just draw, like, squiggly lines. You know, you just draw, like, this two lines and then just make a squiggly in between. And that's an easy way to make zippers. Image of Naruto. We have Naruto right here. And, uh, I mean, it looks, it looks decent. It looks pretty, pretty good. You know, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Um, I am going to, uh, ink it now. And then I will leave it here. Um, and, uh. We'll see how, how that goes. So let me just ink it real quick. Um, and then um, we'll go from there. Okay, so you can see. All right, so let's let's go ahead and color it Naruto. And while I'm here, just tell me what, yeah, that's... So what I like to do is outlining the sides first so I don't kind of go beyond the borders. So first you have to outline all the sides. All right, so what I'm gonna do for the middle part is I'm just gonna see this, this thing has two sides. So I'm just going to take the side that is bigger side and I'm just going to the middle part. Now I'm going to color in the whites. And uh, yeah, I liked it. Okay, yeah, you see it's it's definitely drawing so it's looking a little bit different. So now let's get in. I'm going to get in some of the shades. So I'm going to shade with the darker color. So now I'm going to see where some of the shading is coming from. A good, just a good explanation is like, just look at your hand. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at where it's darker. If I were to color this, this is the lighter area and this is darker. You see what I'm saying? So if I was coloring, I'd color this the lightest, this darker, and this the darkest. So whatever the light is shining is the most, is the lighter area. All right, so we basically have a, a way of his hair and how it looks. Um, thing where you want to outline first. Just go ahead and outline. Looks a little, actually a lot darker than I thought. Why is that? Why is that so dark? Okay. I'm gonna start with the face and add a little bit of shading. Exactly where the color should go and should not go. So just outline the colors where they shouldn't go. You see? So now I know I'm not gonna mess with that area, or I'm not gonna mess there. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta be careful with outlining. Um, that's a very important thing to do. Outlining is super duper important. Okay, that should be a okay. I'm gonna outline the fingers here so I don't accidentally make any mistakes. Uh, yeah, that should be it. Let me just outline this here so I don't make mistakes here. And outline here. And outline here. Okay, great. So now I can take, okay, that looks great. And then maybe I'll shade with like a darker color here. Like I feel like a darker blue would look good. And I, I can already tell this is darker. Okay, because I've used this one a few times. So actually, no. Okay, um, cool pro tip that I learned from somebody else for sure. These jelly pens, these Sakura, are they Sakura? I don't know. Anyway, these jelly pens, yeah, Sakura. They are Sakura jelly pens. Um, they're great for the eyes. Like, if you want to draw a little... You have to draw a little bit of the white of the eyes, like a little glare. See that? Look how, look how great that turned out. And right here, boom. 
Look at that. Metal. So this looks actually pretty good. Let's, uh, we already swatched this color, so let's start with this. Okay, so this, let's start with this color. Yeah, there we go. That's actually pretty good. And I'll show you how to do it. So leave some area white a little bit. Like, don't even just color it. You know, you gotta leave a little bit of color white. Like, let's color most of this. Let's, let's leave, like, some parts white. And, uh, it's tough doing glass and, like, or metal reflective surfaces. Kind of tough. Let me go through this, because this is a little bit more indented, so I'll go through this a little one more time. Here, so I might use just this for, like, a little bit of a base. Bada boom, bada bing. And there you have it. There's your Naruto drawing that you just did from scratch.